the first quarantine drive-in theater. Alright ladies and folks, hello and welcome to quarantine week three. We're still here, we're still kicking. We're at the home front, we got a lot planned for this week. Got something exciting that I thought of that we're gonna do tonight, but it's not nighttime yet, so I'm not gonna fill you in on that until later. As I said last week, we can't just be going to the skate park, so if there's something that we wanna skate, we gotta build it and skate it at home. So that's what we're doing. As you can hear, people are still out and about doing their thing. We're staying home. We're using all the resources we have at home for everything. And I did build this ramp before quarantine, but this ramp, this is all recycled. And now the extension that I'm building is also gonna be recycled. Literally just digging through wood on the side yard, stuff that was laying under the ramp, old lumber. We're gonna use this stuff to build something new. It's caused me to think of materials differently. Like, I'm going native here. I realize I'm probably losing my mind, but all these old weeds, these are like weeds that were growing in the side yard. They're thick. While they were still wet, I decided to bend them, wedge them between the garden beds. So I'm thinking I'll make these into like a canopy on the kid's tree fort. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm freaking losing my mind. If I'm losing it and I rarely leave home, I can't imagine what you're going through. Our comments have been turned back on, so you can tell me. How has this, how has this quarantine been for you? Okay, so yeah, anyways. I'm building a thin quarter pipe right here. It's gonna go from right here up onto the trampoline. So I'm gonna use this thick piece of plywood from this kicker ramp. So here we have two recycled wood edges to make one quarter pipe. I used this quarter pipe for the mold, kind of traced it like a stringer. The ramp shape is cut. Now I gotta find some pieces to make up the skeleton or the bones of the ramp. So I need two by fours or two by sixes, which I, I know I have some lying around. Matter of fact, there's a two by six. It's a good one. I got two good two by fours in there. Recycled ramp at its finest. No scrap. In times like this, it's still as important as ever to be supporting local as much as you can because the reality is they can't have customers in the stores. And on top of that, we're not supposed to leave the house unless for necessities. So um, I ran out to get waters today and I hit up a local shop that needs support and that for a limited time is doing um, pickup only. And, th and I do feel that this is a necessity. Let me just show you. <sighs> Don't judge me. It's a little pick me up here. The House of Vista Skate Shop is doing backdoor pickup. So you call in, you tell them what you want. They meet you at the back door with your order and you head on out. So I asked Shiloh if he wanted to buy himself a new deck. So he paid for his, I paid for mine. Just gonna clean these. They come pre-wrapped. You just dispose of the wrapper and you got a clean board. Shiloh got the army man. I got the Simpsons shop deck. Here, you have to grab the deck so I don't touch the deck. Oh, hand it to Shiloh. Oh man, nothing like a fresh board. Feel that thing. Watch your shin. Now can I come in the house? I wash your hand. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. The ramp is done. charlo has been, he's antsy to drop in on it, but we had to get it painted, we clean up all the tools. Discipline is important. You gotta work hard to play hard. So we learned that today. Everything's cleaned up. Charlo's gonna drop in for the first time. All right, go for it. <laughs> this thing is proving difficult to skate. We'll get used to it, but it's definitely a challenge. What do you think? Great. Whee! Great for sliding, great for riding. Yeah. Alright you guys, not a bad day considering... Oh, hold up. Whoa! Whoa! You should definitely Whoa. be wearing shoes. Okay. We're missing our friends, like big time. We're missing out on coffee dates, dinner, having friends over, dessert, movie nights, Netflix and chill nights, social interaction there's people that are missing out on it more than us we have there's five of us in this house and it's i think more important than ever to find ways to to keep your spirits up and to keep positive and find ways to satisfy um, a void a friend void we're talking to our friends the other night and we're talking about how much we miss each other how much we want to hang out the things we're going to do when we can finally hang out again and it hit it hit me an idea like a light bulb went on in my head I got it, a drive-in movie theater. So we're gonna set up a projector in our front yard. We're gonna have a movie. I might put the rooftop tent back on the top of my truck so the kids can hang out in there. And we're gonna have friends over. Bring your own popcorn, bring your own drinks, whatever. This is the trial run, we'll see how it goes. Drive-in theater, take one. This is gonna be great. So we're not wasting any time, we're anxious. We just wanna see our friends. I'm claiming it right now, this is a totally original idea. The first quarantine drive-in theater. I'm starting a trend. You've now been inspired to do something radical. You can form your own opinions and see if it's something you wanna do yourself at home. Assuming that you have enough self-discipline to just follow the rules, stay in your car, bring your own food, don't share anything, you know? This could be great. All right, I gotta get ready. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. We miss our friends. So we're doing a drive-in theater in our driveway with Scott and Amanda tonight. We're gonna do a projector on the garage door. No. We sit in the car. We are! I was pretty excited to have this rooftop tent on my truck and have it set up so the kids could watch it through the, the movie through the window. Upon uncovering it, I realized I put the whole thing on backwards. We already have a mattress in the back. We'll just figure out how the kids can sit on the tailgate. Maybe me and Sweepy will lay in the back. The show must go on. We're all set up. The kids yeah. are ready. What are we watching? Um, Nacho, Nacho Libre. Libre. Nacho Libre. I only believe in science. Okay, that's the one that was in my room. Yeah, it's been washed. It got peed. No, it did not get peed. It's been washed. Why is there a star shaped as the moon? It is and it's like <laughs> It's been maybe 10 minutes that we've been waiting. And just listening to the kids like have conversations and it feels like camping right now. It's got the same vibe, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. We got no technology out here no. besides the camera. Thought... They're looking at stars, they're telling stories of their dreams. We're all here for an experience and an experience we shall have. This is like... They're here. Perfect. Okay, 
the movie's begun. We're all sitting out here, social distance style, at our home drive-in theater. Popcorn, provided by Sweet Pea. Movie, provided by Scott and Amanda. Idea, provided by me. No, no, we just started! Okay, we're gonna watch the movie. to film you right now? Yeah, sure. Okay. I am the oh. amazing Zoro. So Shiloh, well, the kids watched Zoro last night. Shiloh just killed me and this is the afterlife. AKA right mom's now. food in heaven. Yep. Pretty spot on. Very Zoro-ish. Please don't carve the fence. Did you do that? No. Yeah, right. <laughs> no more. Yeah, the backwards Z's are definitely from you. We cut these weeds, we bent the sticks. Today I put them up on the tree fort. So it's kind of like a domey frame. It's cool. Yeah, I thought that maybe we'd put like burlap over the top of it or something, but we don't have burlap. So staying true to living native this week, uh, I'm gonna find some materials. So it'll basically have the same shape roof as this fort I made. Hey, that's a nice shot, isn't it? All right, so I got 10 palm fronds. These palm fronds are covered in, they're just caked in dirt and they got bugs in them. I'm gonna hose them down, clean them off, just doing my best here. So I'm gonna clip off all the edges and, and try and make these look somewhat nice so my neighbors don't hate me. Took off all those edges there. Now I'm gonna put them on the fort. All right, so we got 10 palm fronds there and Nine zip ties. Figure it out. All right, Shiloh's gonna hand me the pieces and I will assemble them. Just Real life Minecraft. These little zip ties don't reach around the palm frond. So we got these little like grocery bag twine things and they reach around pretty good on the palm frond. So that's what we're gonna do. What do you think? Double snow cone place. Snow cone place? This is amazing! So we have two more. I'm gonna switch sides. Come on, Rio. Rio, this what do you is think? the elevator. That's now amazing. You Here, now you don't have to reach over to get it. Look, this is amazing. Lady Mountain. No, Lady Gaga. Like it? Yep, I love it. I love it. It I works, huh? It. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, but it is pretty chic. All right, that wraps up this week's video. Can you believe this is vlog 199? That means next week is 200. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for your support, or at least for watching these videos. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.